St. Joseph educators gathered Monday on revising a plan for district buildings. News Press Now's Marcus Clem was there and brings us this story. District leaders offered a little bit of new clarity in that, yes, they are going to take a little bit of extra time to construct a comprehensive plan for the various schools within St. Joseph. However, a decision will be made sooner rather than later on the issue of boundaries, which govern who attends where, particularly at the high school level. It was just last week that we heard the timeline is being stretched out for big ticket decisions, like how many schools are in operation and what purposes they serve. And that's the understanding also of facilities planning committee contributors like Kevin Kelly. We need a comprehensive plan for the school district, and I'm talking about multi-year. What do we want to look like in five years, ten years? And, and then we're able to make decisions with the long-term implications really at the forefront of short-term decisions. And yet, population balance problems remain, among other concerns. Central High School has more than twice the student population of Benton High School, and about 800 more than Lafayette High School. As soon as possible, district leaders want to get Benton and Lafayette to about 900 students each, and reduce Central to no more than 1,400, ideally 1,200. Board of Education Vice President Kenneth Reeder says people will support this when it is put in place and we'll get a look at the plan as early as December 8th. Now would be a good time to launch this type of important campaign, which everybody tends to agree with. For the first time in 20 years, everybody kind of says, yes, let's go ahead and get the boundaries right, and that's going to fix a lot of our problems. Reporting from the Traster Media Center, Marcus Clem, News Press Now.